So, we have covered modeling, coordination, and performance, but there is still more to come. So, we haven't talked about design yet and visualization. Um, in these areas, uh, Graphisoft decided to partner with uh, the best in the world technology partners, developers. So, let's share with you what's coming with ARCHICAD 23. So, in the realm of design, uh, we have shown you a number of times this diagram uh, explaining you know, the conceptual problem that uh, the conceptual design um, of the buildings is very much uh, cut off or broken uh, from the BIM workflow. And our proposed uh, you know, solution is to use uh, and integrate algorithmic design solutions into the BIM workflow, making it a much more dynamic and, and, and vivid workflow. To do that, uh, we have been a very um, amicable, very good partnership uh, with uh, Robert McNeil and Associates. And uh, we have been working on integrating the two solutions, uh, Grasshopper Rhino with Archicad. And our you know, uh, strategy here is uh, providing access uh, for the algorithms on the Grasshopper side as deep as possible in the BIM model database. To do that, uh, we have started to develop a workflow we call Deconstruct, which means deconstruct everything in the model database and allowing access for the algorithms to take as a reference, uh, uh, ma manipulate, uh, optimize, and give back to the, to the uh, uh, BIM model. Uh, so we, shown you, we have shown you first examples last year. Now we have made a huge step ahead, uh, further improving our deconstruct workflow. To show you that, let me invite Akos back to the stage. Akos? Thank you, Akos. So, uh, as you know, Graphisoft has been a pioneer in the past few years connecting algorithmic design uh, with BIM by creating a deep link between the inner logic of Grasshopper and Rhino and the building logic of ARICAD. And this year, in the latest version of the Rhino Grasshopper ARICAD Live Connection, we went one step further and to allow you to access the surface geometry of any ARICAD BIM element. Now, what is it good for? On one hand, you can use this surface geometry as an input in Grasshopper and Rhino to generate additional beam elements, or two, on the, on the other side, uh, you can use this surface information to analyze and optimize the beam model uh, using the vast ecosystem of the Rhino Grasshopper platform. So let's see an example for the first one. Uh, in this example, uh, we are designing and we are working on a tennis stadium that is in the early design phase, where we are still experimenting with the building envelope. And what I have in mind is a, is a double layer facade consisting of an internal curtain wall and an external uh, perforated metal shell. And uh, I would like to use Rhino and Grasshopper to generate a supporting structure between the two layers. And I would like to do this uh, using the live connection to be able to experiment and, and work with the, the building envelope in the context of the BIM model. So let's see how it goes. I can very simply uh, reference uh, the ARICAD shell into Rhino and Grasshopper. And uh, let me show you the structure that I have in mind between the two. So it's like uh, it's, uh, it's consisting of beams and columns. So let's just bring those in to ARICAD. And uh, very quickly, as you can see, they appeared. But as I mentioned, we are in the early design phase, which means that the building design goes through uh, a lot of changes. For example, uh, I would like to bulge and curve the profile of the external shell of the, uh, of the Arcad shell here. Something like this. So now I change the surface geometry of the Arcad element. And by sending the changes to Rhino and Grasshopper, the code recalculates uh, the structure between them, and it bulges, uh, bulges it with the, with the, uh, with the, according to the, to the surface geometry. And this allows us and allows you to discover more different uh, design options and experiment more with the, uh, with the building, uh, building envelope and, uh, and try out different uh, variations, basically. All right, but uh, the, another advantage of the Rhino Grasshopper platform is its amazing uh, ecosystem of plugins. 
for example, for environmental analysis and uh, optimization. So in the next example, I have a nice little restaurant building on this hillside, and I would like to perform a uh, sunlight hour analysis on it. And since it, with the latest version of the uh, live connection, we can extract uh, the surface geometry of the facade that later on we can uh, analyze. And in this case, I'm going to use the ladybug add-on uh, of uh, Grasshopper. So I can extract the windows, I can extract the roof geometry. And based on that, I can run a sunlight analysis. So let me just show you the result of that. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, uh, my facade is quite exposed to the sun. The red areas are more exposed, the blue areas are a little bit more shady thanks to the roof. So what can we do to, to make it a better performing building? Obviously, we have to uh, create some kind of shading system. And what I have in mind is a shading system that is consisting of vertical frames and is waving along the building facade. And for that, uh, a quite obvious choice would be to use Auricad's uh, parametric complex profiles, uh, an innovation that we introduced last year. So I would like to use this profile, but uh, multiple versions of it. And uh, in the latest version, now we can control these offset modifiers from Grasshopper based on some, uh, some parameters or some, uh, some curves. So let's just do that. Let's bring in those geometries. And let's see how it affects the performance of our building. And once the, once the geometry is loaded into Auricad, as you can see, it's nicely waving through my facade. But again, Since, uh, since you might want to try different design variations, you can play uh, along with some uh, uh, rhino curves. And I believe this is a little bit too much bulged in here. So let's make it a little bit more subtle so that uh, the, the guests from the restaurant can, can uh, enjoy the view. And as you can see, by just adjusting a little bit of a curve, it opened up the facade. So let's see how uh, my uh, analysis looks like after applying this, uh, this shading system. As you can see, this is the result after the shading system was applied, and this is before that. And this is uh, created by referencing the Auricad uh, beam surface geometry into Grasshopper and just running an analysis very quickly. So as you can see, we could sp seriously and significantly improve the performance of the building. And uh, I hope that you can see that uh, using the new deconstruct functionalities uh, and using the parametric complex profiles combined with Grasshopper, you can, you can have much more time for design and have better performing buildings. So thank you very much.